Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update by RRG Research for Monday the 7th of November 2022. I'm recording this on Friday the 4th of November 22. My name is Trevor Neal and I'm presenting to you, to you today from London. Let's uh, look at the global major stock indices versus cash. This is an uh, instrument uh, zero return that we put in the middle here. We usually use look at the MSCI World Index. So we usually look at the indices versus the an, um, uh, benchmark of other indices. So how are the in, each of the indices doing versus each other? But this this time we're looking at the individual indices versus cash as an alternative. Now we see a different picture here of course because we're not benching against indices in general. So what we see is a very very interesting and very clear message. The sampling here is weekly and we can see that every single major stock index is in the lagging quadrant and the general direction is southwesterly. Now westerly means with declining JDKRS ratio, so compared to the cash, and then southerly means with out a positive JDKRS momentum. So they're heading in the wrong direction, if you like. They're getting weaker versus cash, and also the momentum of that is still um, in place. Now you can see also that um, uh, immediately that the the poor old um, Hang Seng is still <laughs> leading the way down there. Big spaces between each of the samples here. Um, so it's pushing ahead fast um, in this wrong direction, this lagging direction. The NASDAQ 2 is, um, is pointing southwesterly and heading purposefully uh, downwards there, led by the uh, Fang stocks and this sort of uh, collapse of, um, of uh, growth versus uh, value. Now, otherwise, you'll see that some markets have actually turned back hard on themselves. In particular, the DAX, uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Indu, uh, the stock, the uh, CAC, a uh, little bit, um, the Russell 2000, um, and but not so the NASDAQ and not so the Australian market. So they're still continuing in the same direction. But last week, after... Um, uh, I, lots of data and, and uh, uncertainty in the market and rate rises around the world. Um, a very eventful week. We've got a hooking around in some of the indices. So let's look at all this. So bear in mind in more detail. We're going to go down to the daily uh, time frame in a second. The, but to look at the indices which are hooking around in this uh, sub southwesterly pattern. Now, as I move to the daily chart here, uh, all of the indices now are actually in the leading quadrant. And this is the hooking around that's been going on in the weekly uh, perspective. The Hang Seng still um, sitting there alone and unloved uh, down in the lagging quadrant. Now, looking at these, with there, you can see that the move has been blunted. And so many of them have uh, bounced and then uh, fallen back. So you can see this is a strong message here. But uh, I want to look in, into detail of this one that is furthest to the right here. So we've got the overall message that the longer term uh, behavior in stock indices generally and Hang Seng and NASDAQ in particular is downwards. In the shorter term we've had a bounce but let's look at the, how this bounce has been blunted, the advance has been blunted. I'm going to use for my, my example uh, the one which is furthest to the right, as I said before, uh, the one which is strongest relative to, to the others. Still we're using cash as the benchmark here and let's go drill look at that in more detail. Now we have a weekly chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the INDU. <laughs> Uh, most interesting was the uh, drop in uh, September, um, which came to a halt at the support at 2900. The support uh, coming in from 
the high um, of uh, 2000, uh, the October high um, of 2020, then coming into a low in um, October 2022. The uh, the Downward pattern from the from the high 3700 high was lower high lower high lower high so far still lower high lower low lower low lower low lower low and lower low but here on the RSI we had low lower low lower low so all confirming these lower lows until we came into this low here when we broke down um, but the, we had a much higher low in the RSI. This was a strong warning of loss of momentum. And so we were warned that uh, the support from October 2020 was likely to hold and uh, break the fall for the moment. Uh, the market then turned, um, breaking 330,000, also breaking the uh, downtrend line and then f forming a new uptrend line, but with resistance ahead at uh, 33,200. Now let's look more closely at this by going down to the daily chart. Now the, each bar here is a day. So he, he, we can see the support down um, at uh, 2,900, roughly those two lows in there. Below us, we have the MACD, and you see at uh, the low here, really rather well, particularly well, uh, that we had uh, the crossover of the MACD through its signal line, giving us a buy signal, which has held true into now. A little bit of blunting of it here now, but it is at a wide point. Um, so we came down, we broke uh, the downtrend line at 30,000, as I said before, and then we've got resistance now at 33,200, uh, 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 we'll say the resistance is. And we've got a tentative uptrend line. I put this as dash because it isn't really uh, properly formed yet. The third point is the current bar. We have lifted off it and we have a shadow below. But uh, the RSI here, we see the uh, the support at uh, 2900, the two lows in there, and the higher lows uh, just now. What does all this add up to? The index, which was furthest to the right of all the indices in the, uh, the, the uh, weekly ch RRG chart, which were performing weekly, this one has held um, has uh, led the bounce. Um, if the Indu can break up through 31, 33,150 or 33,200, it can challenge the 3,400 high. Through there, the indices will have turned and it will have been led, they will have been led by the strongest, as shown on the RRG chart, uh, the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, the Indu. However, if this hook uh, that we've seen in the daily RRG and the stall that we've seen at uh, 3300 looking at the RSI turning down here now and uh, so far the uh, uh, latter part of this week uh, easing off here uh, this may mean that the rally has finished um, and we are generally at the start of a, da of a resumption of the longer term downtrend that we've seen in all the indices in the RRG chart, particularly the weekly chart. Um, a move lower um, in the indices will very likely be led by uh, the uh, NASDAQ and of course the poor old um, lonely uh, uh, Hansing with the Dow Jones Industrial Average like, likely to be a reluctant participant in the fall. So it's a crucial point here. The breaking of 33,200 uh, uh, is crucial. We may have already failed, so we may start the week with weakness. And if we do, then the downtrend that we've seen in the market is resuming. This will be a laggard, um, most likely a laggard. And uh, we, can, we know the familiar faces that are, will lead the move down. However, um, if we can continue this advance um, and uh, resume our composure next week, then um, the key levels are uh, clear to us, 33,200, 34,000, just above 34,000, and the picture will change dramatically, and the leader of the bull market, should it develop, will likely be the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I'll leave it there for this week. I thank you very much for watching. 
uh, we, one of us, Julius or I, will be back with you again uh, next week at the same place. Goodbye from Julius and I of RRG Research and may the trend be with you.